Hi, this video is for students who want to learn how to use Google Meet. Google Meet is a great tool for class meetings and your teacher may be inviting you to join a class meeting on Google Meet. There's a few different ways that your teacher might share a link with you. One way is in Google Classroom. If your teacher shared the link in Google Classroom, you want to go to Google Classroom and find your teacher's class. I'm looking for Miss Friel's fifth grade class. There it is. And right when you open the class, it will take you to the stream and the Google Meet link should be at the top of the stream in the banner here. You can just click on that link to join. Another way your teacher might share it in Google Classroom is by making a post. Here my teacher made a post in the stream uh, and it says click the link below to join our class meeting at 10 a.m. on Monday, April 20th. I will just click on this link to join. Another way your teacher might share the link is via email. I can go to my email. Here I see an email from my teacher, Kate Friels. The subject is class meeting Monday. If I open that email, there's the link. Click the link below to join our class meeting at 10 a.m. on Monday, April 20th. Now I can click on any of those links. I'm going to head back to classroom. It's where I like to click on the link. Now if, if I click on this link and it's not time for my class meeting, I won't be able to join. The way Google Meet works is that your teacher needs to join the meeting first. So my teacher told me when the meeting is going to be, it's going to be on Monday at 10 a.m. If I try to click on the link before 10 a.m. on Monday, I will get a message like this. Sorry, we encountered a problem joining this video call. You can't create a meeting yourself. If you're joining a meeting from Google Classroom, wait for your teacher to join and then refresh this page. So I'm going to close this window, close this tab. If it is time for the meeting, now let's say it is 10 a.m. on Monday, April 20th. My teacher should have joined the meeting by now. If she has, I can click on this link. And instead of giving me that error message, it will bring me to this join screen. My camera will turn on. Hi, everybody. I can turn that off by clicking on the camera icon here. And uh, before I click join now, I want to test to make sure that my microphone's working and my speakers are working. In this small black screen right here, I have these three dots that are moving around. Those are telling me that my microphone is working. Try speaking and see if those dots are moving. If they're not, there's a couple things you can do. Over here, there's these three dots. If you're having some trouble with your microphone or speakers, uh, go ahead and click on the settings option in those three dots. And here you can um, also change what microphone you're using. Uh, maybe you have uh, a microphone plugged in. You can choose to use that instead of the one built into your Chromebook. Right? And you can also test that your speakers are working by pressing the test button. If you hear a ringtone, you know they're working. If you have some different speakers plugged in, you can also select those here. And there's also some options uh, to check if, if you're using a different video camera. If everything's working, you're ready to click join now. I like to turn off my microphone before I join a meeting so that I don't come in making noise. It's like entering a room quietly. Click join now when you're ready. When you first join a meeting, it will look something like this. I can see um, my teacher's avatar here in the middle. And I can see a couple of other students over here on the right. But up at the top right, I see that there are seven people in this meeting. That number seven next to the people icon tells me how many people are in the meeting. If I want to see everyone in the meeting, I can enable grid view. To do that, I want to click on this uh, waffle looking icon here. Currently, it is slashed through. If you see that it's slashed through, that means it's off. You can click on it to turn it on. If you've checked include yourself in the grid, then you will see everyone in the meeting when you've enabled grid view. And now that I have grid view enabled, I see all seven tiles. If you want to look at just one person, you can pin them to the screen by clicking on the push pin icon 
that will appear on their tile when you click on it. Pinning one person makes their picture bigger. Turning grid view off and pinning a person will make their picture fill your screen. When you want to go back to seeing everyone, turn grid view back on. Want everyone's tiles to be the same size? Click that push pin again to unpin that person. If you have a question or comment during a meet, you can raise your hand by clicking on the picture of the person raising their hand in the top left corner of your screen. When you click there, a notification will appear in the bottom left, letting you and your teacher and other students know that you have raised your hand. When the speaker gets to a stopping point, they can ask you to unmute your microphone to ask your question. To unmute your microphone, you can click on the microphone icon at the bottom toolbar. If you haven't moved your finger on the trackpad in a while or haven't moved your mouse, the toolbar will go away. To bring it back up, just click in the center of your screen or wiggle your finger on your trackpad. Click on the picture of your microphone to turn your microphone on and ask your question. When your question has been answered, you or your teacher can clear that notification by clicking anywhere on that notification. You can also ask questions or make comments in the chat. You can access the chat by clicking on the speech bubble in the top right corner of your screen. That will open up the chat thread and you can type a message in the bottom. Remember that anything you type here will be visible by everyone in the meeting. To get rid of this chat box, you can click in the middle of your screen and that will go away. You can also use emojis to react during a meeting. Those are up here by the hand raising icon. When the, you click on one of those, it'll appear in the bottom right corner of the screen and it will show who did it. It will only stay there for a couple seconds. Remember to ask your teacher's permission before using emojis during the class meeting. When it's time to leave your meeting, click on the telephone icon in the bottom toolbar. Be sure to close your browser tab when you're done.